Uh, again, in this tutorial we will discuss about flow layout. And flow layout is like a border layout, a very basic, and it's by default set on JPile. So you don't even have to call that uh, set layout method. And uh, you can also set uh, flow layout for J3, but when it comes to adding and positioning of all those uh, non-container components like uh, text fields, text areas, buttons, uh, you should always add uh, those components on some uh, non-top level containers like panes generally, like JPanel or J scroll pane, and then to add those pane on uh, JFrame uh, using some layout like border layout or card layout. Uh, and we are going to discuss about that layout later. So I already created a new class called Flow Layout and uh, I typed all those stuff in uh, main method. Okay, and now I'm going to create our JFrame as a top level container. Let's import JFrame and title will be flow layout demo okay uh, also i'll create j panel and let's import j panel too and i'll create a uh, three j buttons And name of the button will be first. Let me copy this. Okay, and paste that two times more. This will be button two, this will be button three. This is going to be second. And this is going to be third. Okay. Let me create constructor and let's set layout for our panel. As I said, you will add all those small components, non-container components, on some pane and then you will add that pane on your top level container, J frame, J dialog or internal frame. That's the best practice. And here I'm going to pass a uh, new flow layout. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to start adding my buttons. Just like this. Okay. Let me copy this. Okay. This will be button 2 and this will be button 3. Now let's add panel on our JFrame. And let's call set default close operation method. Pack method. Set uh, visible method. And that should be it. Let's see what we have. And here it is, as you can see, uh, inside of our JFrame is a J panel containing these three buttons. And as you can see, according to flow layout, our components are spread, spreading from center to left and right by default, let's say. But I can also anchor my components to left side or my right side. And I can do that by passing this constant here in flow layout. And I can say flow layout left if I want to anchor my components to left side or right if I want to anchor my components to right side. I can also pass two more arguments and those are gaps between components like 3 and 3 pixels. Let me run this now. Let's increase the size 
and as you can see all components are anchored to right side of my J panel so very basic layout and uh, also one very important annotation uh, components inside of your container according to flow layout are always aligned horizontally so you can't align components vertically when it comes to flow layout so that should be it i hope uh, that was clear see you next time